Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all to the botany class. I hope you are all safe at your respective homes. In today's class, we shall discuss about the Bentham and Hooker's system of classification of mainly the angiosperms. Right? It has been proposed by George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker. Here. they have a uh, focused mainly on the seed plants that is gymnosperms and uh, angiosperms but uh, briefly they have classified plant kingdom into two sub kingdoms as uh, cryptogamia and uh, phanerogamia okay cryptogamia includes algae bryophyte and uh, theridophytes but here uh, Phanerogamia includes only gymnosperms and uh, angiosperms. Right here, the Phanerogamia has been divided into three classes, as uh, class Dicotyledonae, class Gymnospermia, class Monocotyledons. Okay, three classes: Dicot, Monocot, and uh, Gymnosperms. Remember here, they have kept uh, gymnosperms between. Uh, dicot and monocot right again dicotyledons have been classified into three sub classes polypetale gymnosperme sorry polypetale gamopetale and monoclamidae polypetale remember polypetales means the flower with the free petals flower with the free petals gamopetale means the petals are fused gamma petals condition the flower monoclamide usually the flowers having perianth the flowers having a perianth again we can coming to the next after sub class he has divided into many series sub class polypetale has three series as uh, thalamiflorae discipliflorae calciflorae gamma petale into three series inferae heteromerae and bicarpellate monoclamide into eight series carvembrae multi ovulate aquaticae multi ovulate terrestrist microembrae diphnels aclamidosporales unisexuals ordens anomaly are the eight series and coming under monoclamide right coming to gymnosperms into three families cycadels second coniferae third nitales nitaceae right lastly monocotyledons into seven series microsperme egine epigine coronaria calcine nudiflore apocarpe glumesi are the seven series coming under monocotyledons students i request you please pause the video and take a screenshot or write down this in your book it will be very much helpful for you in the examination even you may get many questions based on this graph based on this schematic representation so hope you will write it down in your book right so now we shall see some of the salient features of bentham and hooker's system means what are the basic characteristics of this system and on what basis they have made the bentham and hooker's classification system here it is a classification only on the seed plants or phanerogams what we have uh, gymnosperms and uh, angiosperms right means uh, this classification system explain only about uh, gymnosperms and uh, angiosperms second point they described 97205 species of uh, seed plants uh, belonging to 7569 genera of uh, 202 families starting from uh, ranunculaceae up to graminae okay so third point 
they classified all the seed plants into three groups or classes that is uh, dicotyledons having 164 families gymnosperms having three families monocotyledons having 34 families right look at the fourth point they included disputed orders among ordines anomaly which they could not place satisfactorily means uh, placing of those plants uh, under uh, ordinance anomaly was not as per the botanical rules as per the morphological modifications okay fifth monocotyledons were described after the dicotyledons actually they have to classify first monocot then dicot but they have placed firstly dicot then into monocot it was little wrong Sixth point, the dicotyledons were divided into three divisions, polypetali, gamopetali and monoclamidae and fourteen series and each series again divided into cohorts means orders, orders contain families. So, cohorts into orders, modern families, ok. The authors did not mention anything about the origin of the angiosperms means they did not say from which plants from which plant groups the angiosperms have originated ok eighth point creation of the disky flore a taxon not described by the earlier taxonomist means uh, earlier before bentham and hooker disky flore was not been described but here these scientists bentham and hooker have uh, briefly and uh, broadly described about uh, the disky flore Ninth point, among the monoclamidae major taxa like a series, they were divided on the basis of a terrestrial and aquatic habitats, ok. The monoclamidae plants have been classified based on habitat, some were terrestrial living on land, some were aquatic living in water. So, based on that the monoclamidae has been classified, right. Here, Tenth point, polypetali carries 82 families having uh, 2610 genera and uh, 31874 species. Gamma petali carries 45 families, 2619 genera and uh, 34556 species. And lastly, monoclamidae includes uh, 36 families, 801 genera and uh, 11000. 784 species. Similarly, monocotyledons consist of 34 families, 1495 genera and 18576 species. These are the some of the salient features of a Bentham and Hooker's system of a classification. Looking at the merits and demerits, first we shall see the merits. This is a great natural system of its own kind natural system focus here natural means it has been framed based on the natural affinities of the plants the characters observed in the nature without any modification whatever the characters observed based on that this classification system is framed second one this is this one is suitable for all practical purposes especially for identification and description of the plants. Yes, in India, throughout India, we are using Bentham and Hooker's system of classification only. Since it is as per the natural characteristics, okay, whatever the characters we read in book, yes, this character can be observed in the nature. Okay, so since it is based on natural affinities, this system helps very much in describing or identification of the plants in nature or in the field or in the laboratory right third one beginning of subclass polypetale with order ranels comprised of a ranunculus and its allied natural orders and families right fourth point dicotyledons are primitive than monocotyledons according to this classification dicotyledons are 
primitive than monocotyl ones. Fifth point, they have studied the actual specimens available at that time and uh, represented them in the classification after careful comparative examination. Means, they have carefully observed actual plant specimens in the field. Based on that only, they have framed this classification. Badly, even then, there are some more, few more demerits of this. Okay. Whatever the merits we have seen, but every system, everything has a demerit. So, this system is also having some of the demerits. First, the classification is based on the assumption of constancy of species. Hence, closely related cohorts or orders are often widely separated. Means, they think, they thought that the species will always remain constant. Species number, species diversity will always remain, remain constant. Hence, they have classified. But, after a few modifications of the plants in the nature, the some of the species which have been closely related, they have been separated widely. Right. Second demerit is, authors were silent about the phylogeny of the dicotyledons and the monocotyledons and the anomalous position of the gymnosperms in between dicotyledons and monocotyledons. Means, they did not explain about phylogeny of dicotyledons and the gymnosperms in between dicotyledons and monocotyledons. Means, they have kept dicot, gymnosperm, then monocot. But, they did not say why they have kept. They dis, there was no explanation about uh, placing the gymnosperms between dicot and monocot. That was the main demerit of this system. Third point, the authors did not consider phylogenetic relationship. Means, uh, they did not uh, consider the evolutionary relationship of uh, the plants. They have uh, just observed natural characteristics, but they did not say what was the origin and evolution of this plant, plants. Okay. Fourth demerit, in monocotyledons, they placed Scytemaceae and Orchidaceae at the very beginning, but they should not be regarded as primitive with so many advanced characteristics. Remember, whatever the group placed at the beginning, it means it is primitive. Whatever the group it is placed at the last, it will be uh, considered advanced. They have kept the orders Orchidaceae mainly, Orchidaceae and Scytemine as a primitive base. It is not primitive, it has got a very much widely advanced or modern characteristics. Hence, this is an demerit of this system. And uh, in the class monoc monocotyledons, proper emphasis has not been given on these two points. First one, relative position of ovary and the characteristics of perianth. The ovary position and perianth characteristics are not been properly explained in a monocots. Right. These are the some of demerits of a Bentham and a Hooker's system of classification. Okay. So, students, once again you go through the slides, means just rewind the video and take screenshots or write down the points. Mainly the first chart what I have given at the beginning of the class, that is not, that's not uh, negligible. Please note it down all those systems, all those orders, that will be very much helpful for you to understand the system. Okay. We shall come with the England Pantel system in the next video. Till that, keep learning. Bye bye.